USB came in, it's a right angle there. And to fit it, I just used the angle grinder, cut a slot. Oh, that is actually still pretty hot. <laughs> just uh, hit it like this, get a little bit of an angle because my cut cutoff wheel was a little too small to hit it straight on. But it fits perfectly. So I'm going to go back inside, relocate the one wire that, uh, for the boost control. I found a, another terminal in it that's uh, in the harness rebuild video. It turns out that the math, math sensor had two inputs, so I'm just going to reuse one of those wires for that. And the last mod modification is knocking down some of these edges to accommodate the PCB board from the patch harness. Or not patch harness, jeez. From the uh, breakout board. See, that lets, when the wire's not in the way, that lets it sit flush. And uh, there's some burrs on this from using the grinder there, and there's some burrs on that. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with a little file, and then should be good. And here is my final assembly. I went ahead and moved my boost control solenoid uh, output to pin 36. Yeah, pin 36, the, the second MAF sensor input. They call it the MAF sensor return, sensor return. So I guess that's like a, a sensor ground specifically for the MAF sensor. And then uh, I in in its place on pin 1, which is shift one of the sh shift solenoid B, I put the VR2 negative side just in case that uh, system doesn't work and I need that secondary ground, then that way I don't have to open this ECU back up. So at this point, it's ready to close up. And uh, I didn't go over this, but this is the these are the jumpers for the batch fuel injection to get all the uh, fuel injectors to fire correctly. So the 5.0 harness by default has sequential fuel injection, and the 4X only has four outputs. So that's uh batching them up in in a certain order and that'll be that combo of you know, fuel injectors and and uh, even the ignition circuits will be on the the spreadsheet that i'll have a link in the description to for how this is all wired up so if you're planning on doing this build as well you'll have a good set of bones to follow okay so now I can go ahead and put this together and I went ahead and got myself a glue gun and I'm going to smear some hot glue across these terminals. I don't think I really need to. Maybe some of these ones that are poking through a bit more I'll do and then I'm going to put some on, on here and along the Arduino, especially on the Arduino because this is going to be more prone to touching one of the panels if it does at all. I don't think it will, but... You know, just in case. And with the relief cuts in the side of the, the ECU housing here, I this will sit way lower, and I just don't think it's going to be an issue. However, I'm still going to dab it on there just to protect and give a buffer there. Um, and then as well on the other side, I may put something on top of here. And this is the VR conditioner because I don't want this to fall out or... It is just a, I mean, it's it's pretty decent for friction. I don't think it's going to fall out unless it's gotten heavy vibrations. But, you know, better safe than sorry. And then this part of the Arduino board right here actually comes in contact with this post. So I could have buzzed it off, but it kind of it kind of puts it in a good spot where it's got a little pressure on it to keep it all together. So I'm just going to run it and see what happens. You know, there's really nothing critical in that part of the board. It's just a it's just a bump out so you can
get numbers. There may be a one trace there for a ground or something, but that's not the end of the world. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this thing together, and then we'll cut to the next step. There we go. Uh, hot glue came out pretty decent. You know, got all the spider webs, but whatever. Got everything covered. I dabbed a little bit on the edges of the PCB board. Got a little bit in the opening for the USB cable to make sure that doesn't move around too much. And, oh, yeah, back of the Arduino. There we go. And that plate should, uh, the old plate should go in it, and if it doesn't, I can glue it in. Now I can just prep all that. And the final touch there. Boom. Hell yeah. Let me go ahead and wrap this thing up. Oh yeah. Glue, get some glue on that so it doesn't touch anything.